All right, we are live with promoter Samson Lukowitz. Let's just jump right in. I, I got to ask you, when you were watching the fight and you saw that cut occur, what was going through your mind? Because I have to tell you, I did not think the referee and the doctor were going to allow that fight to continue. Were you concerned at all that that fight was going to be stopped at that particular time or shortly thereafter? Uh, I, I believe that the corner, it will stop the fight. Okay. Because the referee, he said that you want to continue on. And he said, yes. So the fighter, he want to continue fight. The corner, he make a decision that he believes that regardless of the blood, he will win the fight. Because he was In so I cannot blame the fighter. I cannot blame the corner. And beside that, based of what happened, he opened a big door with people that he never saw boxing and he purchased in prime video. Uh, he paid this, you know, to see that fight. It'd be terrible if he was stopped anyway uh, and he went and he'd be no contest. Thanks to the bribery and 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 the quality of fighters that he never gave up even with the bleeding uh, he proved that boxing is for real and probably more than 50 percent of the people that he watch uh, for first time in amazon he was he was very happy with the best show that to start, you know, one of the best show of the decade to me. <laughs> the complete event, it was unbelievable. Very entertainment. So it's sacrifice, but uh, I believe in the end of the day, it will be a rematch that he can prove who is the best. And maybe the tri tri trilogy, you know, like it be three fights. Who knows? Okay. Now, you tend to keep us on our toes because a lot of times, information comes out and you led us to believe whether whether I'm overly assuming this or not that Errol Spence would be next and now today you indicated that it's it's definitely going to be Tim Zhu next right that's what you want so I don't know if you had a change of heart if so why the change of heart why did it I, seem I can tell you I, I can tell you, you know, okay. no more explanation okay I was very upset with Tim Tzu, the way he behaved. And I was very upset, upset with, with, the, with how he called me, uh, the names that he called me, it, it Zhu, Tim. He called me names that is uncalled and he didn't respect a man of 73, I don't say all men, I say 73 years old, that he can be <laughs> his father. Uh, that uh, I was upset and we didn't, I didn't sign, at least I didn't sign any rematch course. But after the fight and I wake up the next morning, I say to myself, what I'm doing that is not me. I'm upset, but it's not me. I need to honor whatever I say that it come out of my mouth. And I say that it will be a rematch. So I scratch uh, Spence. I said it would not happen. I need to comply with my word that I say that it's a rematch. In a court of law, I don't know if he can beat me, but you don't need to go to court. You don't need to do anything. You don't need a lawyer because I work in this business for three decades and everybody know me that my word is a bond. You don't need a contract with me. And that when I realized the next day that I make a mistake and I apologize to the management. I say, I'm sorry, but you will have, I sent a, a, a WhatsApp to the representative of uh, Zoo. I said, I'm sorry, I was uh, upset, and uh, but my word is a ban and you have the rematch. So I don't want to put words in your mouth, but what, what you're kind of implying here is the night of the fight was basically you being emotional, because you were maybe a little bit vindictive of the back and forth that you had with the team. And then after you thought about it and you were more logical about it and cooler heads prevailed, then you decided, you know what? The right thing to do is just 
stick to what I originally said and don't don't be vindictive against them just because I was upset at something he said. Yeah, and, and beside that, you say because maybe he was nervous because sometime before the fight, you know, we say something and then especially the fighters say something that uh, that is not nice, put it that way. And uh, but after a, a, a night of sleep, when I wake up in the morning, I say it's not me that. I want to go a different direction when I promise something and my word okay. is not me. I need to go back to my roots. And this is what I did. And I apologize that, uh, that that is a fight that it would be. So, so technically you don't, you guys don't have to give teams with the rematch, but you're just doing this because you, you said you would do it and you want to be a man of your word. So you're basically acting on your own personal honor. In other words, you're not legal, legally bound to do this, in other words. Oh, uh, no, I don't know if you're legally I'm bound to do it or not, but I believe uh, in boxing, what is missing is, is to be honorable on your word. And, but I strongly believe that there's not too many people that we honor the word. But I'm one of the guys that we do it. I spoke with uh, Fundora, and Fundora said, I have no issue to give him the rematch. Contrary, he would love to do that. Okay. You know, so it's a team that, but definitely that it be a different scenario. Now we are the champion. We be making more money. You know what I mean? It be a different negotiation, but yeah. it, because we went to the fight for the opportunity and the glory, we didn't go for the money. We didn't get paid with the probably we deserve to. Okay. You know? Okay. So to talk about how this fight was thrown together so quickly. And was this something that you you guys had as a backup plan? Um, if, if anything happened with with Keith Thurman, was was because this was like a snap of the finger. How this just was such a quick turnaround like that. Was this mentioned as a backup plan? As I said, if Keith Thurman uh, ended up uh, or someone ended up getting injured. No, it was no plan. But you have two warriors. I went to. For a Fundora father that he deserved to be the trainer of the year because you have two champions, the two brother and sister champion. Uh, I say, look, uh, we we had the opportunity to fight for WBO and, and WBC, and 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 he put a speakerphone and all married the whole family, the sister, the mother, everybody. Yes, yes, we take it. It was the second. And the money was not issued. Whatever it was, the offer that is public, I believe, I don't like to give number. I, we took it. We didn't negotiate the number because the glory, it was more important than the number. I don't know how much it is you got because it's not in, in my pocket. You know what I mean? That yeah. it, we, but uh, whatever it was, it deserved every penny. And, and whatever it gave us, uh, I believe the fre uh, the the Sebastian he deserved it every penny too, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, but it was no negotiation of money. It, it was a number, and automatically say yes. And well, trust me, it was a low number. Well, obviously, I'm not going to ask you the number because that's none of my business. But what I will ask you, and if you can't answer this, I, I'd appreciate it. If you can't, I totally respect it. Did he get? Did Sebastian get more money to fight Zoo? Than he did to fight uh, Bokachuk because again you're fighting for a, a oh, oh it was it was Bokachuk okay it was less yeah it, it was, was less oh the yeah. Bokachuk fight was less and this yeah. fight was more okay more, so that's yeah. at least he got more at least he got more than originally he was supposed to get so that's that's a good move yeah but it, it was not uh, negotiable for yeah. either one whatever it was the first time we took it that it was half of that or less and it was less than half. And then we took this or a marry, but it's not really it was not for the money. But we have a share if we pass so many uh, number of uh, pay per view buyers, you okay. got uh, you know a piece of that as well as uh, I imagine uh, Zoom. So let me let me ask you this: If you guys decided and Sebastian decided. No, I, I, I don't want to fight Zoo. I, I would rather stick to my original opponent, which is, which is Bokachuk. 
does the pay per view still go on, or or does or does the fight or does the whole card get scrapped? What would have happened if that if that was the scenario there? I, I don't know because we took the fight immediately, so there's no other yeah. scenario. <laughs> you so know? you 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 weren't even hesitating. You guys were like, "This is a title shot. We're we're, we're going right in." That's right. What, and Bokachev, he was agreed with us, and Tom Laffer. He said, uh, you deserve to, for, to be a champion, and we wait for the opportunity. Meanwhile, I'm an interim champion. Now, many of uh, your press say that the interim championship five doesn't wash shit. And I'm telling you that you bring money to the table for this, uh, for this income of his family and the future of his family. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have several uh, interim champions like Sergio Maravilla Martinez, like David Benavides till today, and he's making millions. So it means that uh, maybe you don't like it, but the public like it and the networks like it. That is more important. Yeah. I mean, it's good for so the fighters. In one second, everybody loves the interim championship fight because you have the opportunity to fight 12 rounds for X amount of money and for 20% when it's 10 rounds of that yeah. X amount of money. And, and, and again, I understand it from the fighter standpoint and from your standpoint. It puts money in the fighter's pocket, but it does confuse the fans a little bit. The, you, most fans are traditionalists, and they like to see just one champion. Can you at least respect that from the fans' point of view? Uh, I, I believe that it's not the fans. I believe it's you people. <laughs> that, you that people? My opinion. You wow. people. <laughs> okay. Because, well, I'm, because a fan know, so, look, I'm a fan, I want, too. I'm a fan, too. No, but put it that way. Tell me who is upset that Benavides is an interim champ for two years almost. Okay. I, I'm not going to get into semantics with you, but I will, I will say this. The word interim means like you're, you're, you're filling in for somebody when they're not able to fulfill their duties. That's what the word interim technically means. Now, what the sanctioning bodies, in my opinion, have done was, this is my opinion. You can tell me if I'm wrong. So when someone's in a number one slot or in a mandatory slot getting ready to be to get their mandatory fight and the sanctioning body doesn't want to order it right away, what I believe a lot of times the sanctioning bodies do is they'll say, okay, we'll give you an interim title just to kind of pacify them a little bit and say, or at least you have this interim title. So it, it, it appeases them while they're waiting to get their mandatory shot. And in my opinion, again, this is my opinion, the word interim is is really applied incorrectly in that in that type of situation that's that's just how i see it you can agree well, or disagree put, put it that way uh, if you if you put that the way you say that the interim i can tell you that he give extra money to the fighter that is deserved for the same fight I understand. and and the public like it some of those maybe well educated uh, they say no but because <laughs> you know all but, right. but remember what he said, uh, may I rest in peace, uh, uh, Jose Suleiman, the president and the father of Mauricio, yeah. if, if, when he's hunger and, and the war, he be boxers, you know, because most of them, he come up from the nothing, not in a, in, in a, in a family with, with money and a silver plate. So I believe boxing he will never die. And the interim is excellent for the family of the boxers because he put extra money and extra income and the network like it and when the network like that and he pay more the fighter get more so you know whoever doesn't like don't watch that's all but you will watch anyway because he loves the box. Well, don't, it doesn't matter if it's I, 10 or 12 don't ever tell you don't know. ever tell the fans don't watch. That's not good for business. I know, but, but don't do uh, that. But don't everybody that. would watch. This is what I said. Yeah, everybody mm. would watch if it's twelve. No, not only that. I can put an interim title on the line, and it'd be more people watching that I put ten rounds. How about that? Okay. And the, let's say the the fight of an interim fight with with Benavides. When he fought uh, Boom Boom uh, Andre. Andrade, yeah, and Andrade. And so now let's say that it was ten rounds. It, no, no, you know, half of the people it, it, without care about it. 
he cared because he was an interim, and maybe he would fight Canelo, the winner. All right. But if we force them round, it, it, it would not be people watching that fight. So this is what I mean when I say don't watch it, because many people it will, it will not watch if it's 10 rounds. Okay. Not when it's 12. When it's 12, everybody will watch. All right. But so, let, let's go, because I know that you don't like the interim, like many people of the press, but the fighter like it, I like it, the people like it, the network like it. So, you know, you're well, the, I understand. I understand that it's 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 good for for the fighter. I I would never sure. say it's bad for the fighter to be an interim champion because it as you said it does it does help them get more money. I I, I agree with that. I'm not going to challenge you on that point. Now let's let's talk about this this back and forth you had. Oh, I, th I hope I didn't lose you. Wait, okay, you're back. You, sorry. You was there. Go. Okay. Okay, let's talk about this so back. It's good because we stopped to talk about the interim. So now, all right, we, we, yeah, we'll stop. We'll, we don't want to make a whole show. <laughs> we don't want to make a whole show, a whole interview about the uh, the uh, interim. Thing. The interim, yes. So now I'm just curious, and again, you don't have to answer this if you don't want to, because this is your personal business. What was the thing that you actually said to Tim Zhu or Tim Zhu's team that made them so upset? Oh, I, you see. It, it, these people have like four guys from the press of Australia that they got a free airline tickets and beautiful show and hotel and probably got paid. So you need to come out with something that they make noise. So I say, he asked me, what do you think about this fight? I say, most likely, uh, uh, Sebastian, it will knock him out. And okay. say, and I will give him the rematch in Australia. So these people put uh, Sebastian Fundora, a promoter, say that he will knock him out now and he will knock him out in his country. It was a lie. It was a fake news. So everybody went against me, but I never say that because that it will be that I don't respect the fighter. But I can say, well, you will knock my boy out. Stupidity. I will say it what I feel. I feel like he, he's supposed to knock him out for different reasons, Yeah, you know. But uh, finally, then he said, the, the night before the weigh-in, we was uh, eating pizza and hamburger. That he was uh, uh, Fundora. And he went, said, it's not a professional eating hamburger and 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 pizza it's not that it's not professional it happened to be that he need to make weight <laughs> because he can make 47 maybe yeah, yeah so he need to eat and be recommend to eat hamburgers and pizza yeah by the, by you know you do that in every fight so when you sometimes you look the internet you see is unprofessional some people doesn't read the rest and then I got upset because me, many people doesn't open to read the rest of the whatever the, the press put or, or he read only the first line. And then if it's too long, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and so I got very upset with that, too, because uh, to show you how professional he was, he showed it on Saturday night, you know, yeah, and yeah. what he care if he eat hamburger or he eat pizza. It, it, it was so yeah, stupid, but that is the press crazy, yeah. that he bring, that he never been probably the four guys that he come, who knows if he, he ever have a, 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 you know, come to America and see the culture of the American people that you don't say that to a fighter, that is unprofessional because he make the weight and he eat whatever the fuck he want. That is the yeah. reason. Yeah. So they, so they felt as though that Tim, uh, the Tim Zoo's team felt that Sebastian Fondor was being was wasn't being respectful to the fight because they like he wasn't taking the fight seriously because he's eating pizza and hamburgers knowing that he has a fight ahead and he felt then they felt though that he was kind of like slighting Tim Zoo because he wasn't taking Tim Zoo seriously or something like that is that what they were I, trying I to imply? Yeah, I don't know if he was Tisu, he was the press that he bring it. Oh, okay, and he saw him. You know what I mean? But but look. And on top of that, Tisu, I believe, he doesn't have no dinner before the day of the... Yeah. Most of the fighters, 
Yeah. I, I include David Benavides and everybody doesn't eat the night before. He wake up right. in the morning and he lose the, the final uh, pound. Yeah. But you need to eat to make the, the, the weight. Yeah. But it's so he, a different character. So he has a, a, an exceptionally fast metabolism. And I heard that he eats like 5,000 calories a day just, just to keep the weight on him. That's just his, his that's just his genetic makeup. He has to eat in order to, to, to keep the weight on him, right? As well as her uh, sister, the Gabriela, is the same thing. Same way, right? That's, it. that's just in their same genetics. Way. When, she, when, right. when she fought, the night before, I, I, you know, I know him already several years. So, But every time we, we, we eat, uh, we go for dinner and you have uh, pasta and you have pizza and you have all kind of uh, uh, food. Uh, what, the last fight of uh, Gabriela, she had a, a, a Mexican food that uh, is like a pie with meat. You know, okay. I need it all. So I, I said, but tomorrow you have the way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and when he went, he said, 111. <laughs> he didn't reach the 112. So this is, but not for that, anyone from the press or team, because I don't believe it was so. I believe it was these guys saying it's not professional. Okay. In the headlight, you know, on the headline, when, yeah. yeah, and 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 that is that he got me that I say with I spends, but then yeah. I realized that my world is more important, yeah. and the world that uh, I spoke with uh, with Fundora father and 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 after the fight he said no no we we given the rematch it was really an unbelievable fight and. The people deserve the rematch. That that it was everything I had because I told him that I give my word to. Okay. This, well, the Fundora family is my family. Put it that way. Yeah. Now I, I don't want to try to throw a monkey wrench into this, but what does Al Heyman and PBC want? Are they on board with this rematch as well? Have you spoken to them about this? Because they may have other plans. They may want. They may decide that they want Spence instead of Zoo. What do you think about that? And how is that process going on behind the scenes right now? If you could speak to that. Yeah, it, it's very simple. Uh, I'm the sole promoter of Sebastian Fundora. The will of the fighter is important, but he cannot fight till November. And it'd be unfair for Tisu that he need to wait in November. So most likely it will take an interim fight and we'll see what happened and if he'll be ready for November. But he have a broken nose, maybe go, if we go for surgery and he will not allow, regardless of the money involved, to fight if it's not 100% because the father he will not allow and Sebastian he will not allow. He will go for the glory. And the glory in this moment is to fight the rematch. So, so will it be a, will it be the next fight or are you are you or do you think there'll be an interim? No, we, we're not fighting in November, so it's, you know we don't know what it can happen now. It's up to Zoo to make a decision if so, you want to wait for him or you want to take an interim fight. So if Zoo says we want to fight you next, then that's going to be the next fight. Yeah, November. There's no there's no interim fight if Zoo says it. So so ideally you want to do this rematch in November. That's correct. And that, and that should be enough time because that cut on his head will probably take about three months to heal completely where he can start having uh, sparring again. And, you know, so if he starts uh, training again in July with full contact, it, November is plenty. Of, it's it's plenty of time to get the fight done. So that, that would that's, be great. If, yeah, it's plenty of time. So, so And that, I believe when, when you start to advertise that fight and you show the blood, many people yes. want to see it again. Yes. So yes. it'd be a success in Las Vegas, it'd be a yes. sold out. Now we sold about 14,000 tickets, you okay. know. So now I believe that it'd be sold out in a couple hours because that rematch is very special because it was the bleeding fight, I believe, uh, for many decades. And I, I remember Arturo Gatti, but he's the only one that he bleed. That it okay. was both of them bleeding. Both yeah. of what uh, you what heard. And the elbow is when you in the fight, if you see the, the replays, uh, Tisu, it comes forward. No, it was Tim Tim Zoo. Tim Zoo initiated the contact. There's no That's question correct. about that. Yeah. There's absolutely no no because one's blaming is, yeah, no one's blaming Sebastian for that. Oh, no yeah. one's saying oh, yeah, no one's oh, yeah. Some someone blame 
Very really? well known. Yes, very okay. well known from HBO guy. Then uh -oh. he blamed that he did it by purpose. No, but, that's, uh, that was that but, was. But that yeah. probably is something personal because he yeah. never said hello to me. So <laughs> I know that's, what it is. I don't ridiculous. want to mention them, but probably you know who. That, that's ridiculous. So, um, the the whole WBO situation. If they decide to strip Sebastian, he still has a WBC title. And then Zhu and Sebastian would would ultimately just fight for the WBC title. Does that bother you? Are you guys concerned at all about being stripped by the WBO, or do you just feel that that's you can they they can have that belt and you can go pick it up later on down the road? What's most important is to put on the fight that you said you wanted to, that you uh you know wanted to uh, honor your word. Uh, look, uh, I never. I, I spoke with Paco. And he gave me the dates and all these to Paco Valgarza, the president. Sure. I never told him that this is hurt and maybe needs a surgery mm -hmm. because I didn't know. So when we send a, you know, a, a request to be in the champion and resist, we see if we can do it. You know what I mean? And he feel, and if he feels that, because it's not that we want to honor first the, the rematch. But beside that, he's not ready to fight in November, regardless who. So okay. he need to be champion and recess because he couldn't, he can, cannot fight. Yeah, he said that he, he'd be 180 days or 120 days, he would not be ready. And you cannot negotiate a fight when when the, the fighter is hurt. Injured. You know, though the you know, injured, you know. So we see what happened. Uh, I believe that it be uh, that everybody need to agree on that in in the case of a, a, so you're, you know the, the lawyers and and everyone that is involved and see the bylaws and if it's possible. But I believe it will do right. And if he take this style away, it be shameful in a way because he cannot fight on the time that. Uh, that uh, it, it being a mandate. Besides, how you can negotiate when they, regardless of the money, you can offer any kind of money. We're not fight. We're not allowed to fight. And on, on it's in suspension. You cannot make a deal when when the fight is in suspension. So I, you know, I hope so that the, the WBO it, it will realize that you cannot negotiate when it's uh, when you have that issue. So. Are you going to petition to be the champion, the WBO champion in recess, or are you just going to ask for an exception? What What is the route that you guys want to go down, or do you have to talk to the lawyers? Uh, no, this is to be up to to the lawyers to discuss that directly, because I okay. believe it's the unfair, because it's not that we don't want to negotiate, even though we want the rematch, but we don't have, we cannot sit and negotiate something. That uh, that it couldn't happen on time, and I understand that uh, that uh, the mandatory want to fight in uh, in June or July, so he will not be ready in yeah. June or July. So yeah. what we should negotiate? So if we take the title away, well, uh, I don't know what to tell you. If but it's up to the president. Paco Valcacer and make the decision. But I'm pretty sure that he will receive a few letters and calls that that the fighter, the champion, is not ready to fight. So what if they July. what if they turn around and say, okay, we understand you can't fight Terrence Crawford in June or July, but we want you to fight him in November. Then 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 what do you do? But Crawford he would fight in June, July. Okay, so you're saying Crawford. Profit wants to fight in June and July, That's and then correct. he and then he won't be able to turn around and fight in November. So That's I correct. guess the, I guess the best possible scenario, and you tell me if I'm wrong here, that they allow the rematch to take place, and Crawford waits waits uh, uh, again for the winner. That would be no, the most. That would be the best thing, sorry. right? Crawford, he, he will fight for the WBO regardless. Okay. Okay. The WBO regardless, so he'll be the champion. And 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 then it'd be unification. Okay, so because, again, so so it's not a big deal. Then you you can again if the WBO decides they're going to strip, then you fight you fight the rematch 
And then that unification is always a, a, a doable fight down the road. That's what you're saying. That's, that's correct. But right. I, I really, I, I'm going to be so happy that if you take, uh, that you will say that uh, that it will get stripped because I believe it'd be wrong. Okay. Or boxing. So, so where does Errol Spence fit in all of this? Would would you say Terence the Terence Crawford fight would take priority over the Errol Spence fight or? Like, in order, in order, how do you like those three opponents? Obviously, you well, like Zoo number one, and would Crawford be number two, and then Spence number three, or would you? Like, how, how would you put those in order? I w I would not be surprised that in July, uh, Zoe would fight Spence. Zoo because, would fight Spence. Yeah, because Zoo is different uh, injury. He can fight in three months. I don't know. Months. I don't know about that. I I don't think I, I think he won't be able to get back into the gym until July. And that I, I don't think he'll be ready no, for July it, either. It happened, it happened the same thing to uh, the same card to Sergio Martinez. Okay. And uh, it took him like a month and a half okay. to be totally healed. And it was All exactly right. the same card okay. when he fought the uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Oh, I remember that. That's correct. It was the same. It was a very similar area. Not not yeah. as deep, though. Not as deep. But I didn't see how deep it was the other one. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious yeah. to see how many stitches that 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 um, cut will take. All right. So let let's talk about David. So David is is going to be fighting Alexander Vosdick for the interim title. Is that going to be in June? In June 15th, correct. June 15th. Is that going to be in Vegas as well? Uh, yes. Okay. Most likely be T-Mobile. Now, I'm very optimistic, and you tell me if I'm wrong here. I'm ve I'm very optimistic that if Canelo beats Jaime Munguia and David beats Vosdick, I'm very optimistic that that fight happens in September. How optimistic, if at all, are you that Canelo versus David Benavides happens in September if both guys win their fights? It will not happen. Oh my God! Reason. You're killing us. And, and listen, you want a, a, I want a, the truth. I want the truth. A lie or, or, or tough truth? You know. Okay. First of all, if if I in June, it will not be ready for September. Okay. I will not allow to do uh, something that I know uh, Benavides, and it take more time to be in shape, and after the fight, and he need to lose weight. So he will not go uh, like he did others uh, with one month or two months uh, notification. It will not happen in September. Uh, now, what I said before, if I agree, if he agreed to fight Benavides, I will cancel June 15th and we go straight to, to September. So if he came out today and said, I will fight David Benavides of September. You would cancel that Alexander Vosdick fight. That's correct. In a heartbeat. Now, so let me, I'm going to throw a, a, a real crazy question at you. So say after the Munguia fight, he says, okay, I'm ready. For, uh, like would, if he waited to after the Munguia fight to say that, would you still cancel the Vosdick fight? It, let's say that he said on September 7th. I'm sorry, uh, January, uh, uh, May 7th. May 7th. May 7th. Yeah. And he said, they, I they, they, yeah. or a week later, yeah, or two weeks later, I will cancel that fight. Wow. And we wait for September because wow. what he wants is the glory. And he okay. wants to get only 5 million. He doesn't want nothing else. Take everything. I want my 5 million and I fight for the glory. Okay. Let, let, let me ask you this. Has, has your relationship with Eddie Reynoso gotten better? Because I know you said you were very good friends with him. Then you guys kind of had a falling out. I'm, I, I'm not going to tell you how to, how to handle your business, but would it not behoove you to try to have a good, like a better working relationship with their team in order to make it easier to get this fight done? I, I don't deal anymore with them. Uh, I, Pull myself out, and Luis de Cuba, the Cuba Junior, is so he's the, the one that negotiating. Yeah, he's the mediator now. Yeah, 
because uh, I, I don't want to continue finding I, refer, I respect Eddie Reynoso. We was uh, doing shows in Guadalajara. He used to call me Maestro, and now he called me son of a bitch. <laughs> he called me. But, uh, you know but how to turn the screws. Me. You know how to turn the screws on people, though. You know how to get on the people's skin. You got to admit that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. You know so, how you but, are. You know how but you I, are. Look, you can, you can call me anything. I will not get upset till, till you touch my fighters. That is my children. Yeah. Yeah. And that you have an issue. So then I come my other side, the nasty side, that uh, defending my my fighters, and I believe that uh, I feel like I'm right. I'm too old to say that I'm wrong. So it almost sounds to me, and again, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't like to speak out of school here. Vosdick is basically the backup plan if Canelo doesn't fight you in September. He's 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 a fight that you that you're going to have to take in the interim to keep David busy because you can't wait, can't keep waiting around for Canelo. You have to have a fight in the interim. Yeah, and the point is that uh, in this moment, David Benavides feel like it would never happen with uh, with Canelo. So he wants to try uh, the glory to fight the winner of Better Vie and be born. This is what okay. he wants. That's but if it's not Canelo. Okay, so that is the reason wrong. that he took in 175 in light heavyweight to be sure that he would do okay if he need to go to the next step and go, you know, is a, a, a challenger and not as a champion. So, so he wants to be sure that he, he be okay on 75 before he accept the winner. So once he goes to 175, does he stay there or does he go back down to 168? How does that whole play out? I, I, this is my personal belief. I believe that if, if he go to 75 and Canelo, he will not fight him. He will go and fight the winner. And then, and then probably we stay in 75 because it's nothing else in 68. Because who you have in 68 with him? I, uh... It's good fighters like Pacheco, but Pacheco is his friend. He's yeah. sparring every day. You will not fight him. Yeah. And then you have a couple of more. Uh, he, he will not fight Berlanga, but most likely Canelo will fight Berlanga. I believe Berlanga is not ready in this moment for the to to fight the uh, uh, Canelo, but most likely that will be the guy on the next okay. fight. And Canelo will continue winning. Like you say, he's the king. He doesn't give a shit what anybody said. He do whatever. So this is what he be. That is the reason I say no mas Canelo. Okay. By the way, I saw Eddie Reynoso. He hugged me uh, last Saturday, but we didn't talk. <laughs> but he hugged gave, me. Gave you a hug. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So they. So let, let's talk about with with the Saudi. What the Saudi said, Turkey Allah Sheikh. He said that he would like David to fight the winner of Better Be of Bivol. Have they? Have the Saudis or any or Turkey Al Sheikh or anyone from that um, part of the country? Have they reached out to you or, or uh, anyone in your team? They talked to you about yeah. Find, he reached to, that yeah, he reached one of our team, and they, if the money is right and get paid uh, uh, correctly, like the others, the fight it would happen there. So you would do it in Saudi, no problem. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Amazon Prime pay per view Saudi Arabia yeah whatever. all this yeah you know. yeah yeah so so talk about the whole Amazon Prime um, situation how how was it doing the your, you know your first pay per view over there were you happy with how uh, everything went um, do you do you feel as though that this is a good substitute for for Showtime uh, did you notice a, a lot of differences or because I because most of the same people that were on Showtime were doing this card. Uh, with Amazon, how was that whole experience, the transition? Uh, I, I believe that Amazon, uh, no, I believe, I've been told that Amazon it was very happy with the event, extremely okay. happy. And it was super professionals and everything. Uh, I cannot compare Showtime because it's not any longer. So if I say that Amazon is better than Showtime, you know, it's because I have bad feeling about Showtime that he gave up like HBO and boxing. Mm 
But I can tell you, it's very professional. And I believe that the production, it was wonderful. And everything, it worked out in time and in, 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 in a way that it was everything time, on time, everything, the fights and everything, it was extremely good. So I have nothing to say. The only thing we're waiting is to see how much it's been sold in pay-per-view. Only yeah. in the United States, because in Australia it was different and overseas yeah. it's different in the story, you know. How many pay-per-views do you think this this did? I have no clue. I cannot say. Because no what, are, what are you going to do if Rick Glacier comes out and says it only sold 20,000 pay-per-views? Look, uh, I know Rick Glacier for many, many years. Probably 25 years I know him. Okay. And mm -hmm. the only thing I say to him is, hello, how are you? Checking hands. I never talk business with him. And that is the reason that that I'm not involved in his uh, uh, Twitters. He okay. never mentioned me because I give him the respect and he respect me. So I'm happy that way. Whatever he can say about, uh, uh, you know, uh, PVC and the way he hate, uh, it's nothing to do with me. Okay. And, and, you know, whoever follow him, most of the time say something that he of third parties, sometimes it's good and sometimes doesn't work so good for them. So it's, it's another guy in boxing that he like to talk and I don't want to get involved in any uh, form and with, with them besides to say hello and give him the respect and I hope so that he continue to respect me. So you want to calm down a little bit. You want to stop getting into these arguments with people. You just want to relax now. No, I never have any issue with the with this guy. I mean, I mean okay. you know, Rick is, uh, like I told you, I say hello to him, I shake hands, but I never yeah. have a conversation. I never have a coffee with him. I never yeah. sit in the same table. But that is the reason that he respect me, I believe, because I never say nothing negative. Whatever he say, you have his reason to say. And it's okay. up to the people to believe or not, but it's not my call. Okay. Let's talk about Gabriella. Fondora now. What's next for her? let's what's next for her? Um are you gonna try to uh have her become undisputed at 112? What what is what is the long term and the short term plan for her? Well, uh, we tried to unify on January 6th and the champion Marlene he walked away. So okay. Is she, so I, I, you cannot force a fight. It's another Canelo, put it that way, that you want to win. <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> don't stop throwing shots again, please. Go ahead. I know, I tried to. But you got to stop. You got to stop. Come but on. It's exactly the same thing. He doesn't want to lose the fight, and she refused to fight uh, Gabriela. Okay. All right. So that 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 is the... Mm -hmm. Okay, so so what's next? You have when do you want to get her back uh, in? This? I, I'm in partnership with the uh, Golden Boy. Okay, and uh, you know, by contract, she's supposed to fight most likely. Uh, I would say no later than June. Okay, by contract, right. it needs to comply with the contract that we have. Right. June, well, July, I, I, maybe the latest. Okay. Awesome. All right, well, that's all I got for you today. I want to thank you for your time, and I want to thank you for your your honest answers. And I, actually, I actually want to commend you on on uh, being a man of your word. I hope that everything works out like you say it's going to work out, because again, there's a lot of moving parts here. But by you coming on and saying that, I, I really appreciate it, and I appreciate you always giving me the time. Thank you know, you I much. say I say in a in a Twitter that is I, at Samsung Boxing. I make my advertising. I say that the boxing business, it can change every minute. Okay. So, but if you, any change with the, with Zoom, it will, it will not be my fault. It'll be the call of the people of Zoom, not mine. Okay. All right. Well, thank, thank you so you much. much. Thank, thank you. you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Have a good, good night. Good night.